So my name is Frank Billingsley, I'm 58 years old, and five months ago, I went for a regular checkup, not to go for a specific prostate cancer checkup, just a blood work checkup for cholesterol and testosterone and diabetes and all those A1Cs and everything you hear about. I was fine with everything, but my PSA came back and it's 25. Anything over four is alarming. Anything over 10 is super bad. And, and, and at 25 uh, is really upsetting. So they prepared me and said, you know, likely this has spread outside of the prostate. Likely this is in the bone, which is a whole different world and a lot of sleepless nights and a lot of soul searching. Well, I, the bone scan and the pelvic scan, the CT came back negative. And a number of oncologists looked at it and said, there's, there's no spread out the prostate. We're still baffled that you're a 25 PSA, but you are but you have, from what we see, a small cancer. And now you need to figure out what to do with it, especially with such a high PSA. During that time, I was getting a lot of feedback from the public because being on television, I'd been very open about the fact that I had cancer. This is what I was gonna be doing. I was gonna start researching. And I got this email from David Jordan's wife, Melanie. And David Jordan is the CEO of Nanospectra and they're the ones that are the commercial point of what Rice University is doing with gold nanoparticles. So these are gold nanoparticles. Yes, and they have a very unusual color. Wow, look at that. So the nanoparticles are special in that they, you can design the nanoparticles to absorb light at wavelengths that pass directly through the body. So if the particles are placed in a tumor site, then you can irradiate them with light that pe penetrates through the body, and the nanoparticles will absorb the light, convert the light to heat, and then very gently they will, uh, they will induce hyperthermia and destroy just the tumor cells which they are directly adjacent to. That's why they can, this can, can be used as a vehicle for highly uh, localized uh, photo, photothermal ablation of cancer. This is where we started, and it all comes down to building the nanoparticles. And so the first time we published on, on nanoshells, of course, shell nanoparticles, was in 1997, so it's been a while. We're the commercial enterprise that is working to develop the technology that came out of Rice. We exclusively licensed it years ago uh, out, of, um, out of Rice. Naomi mentioned earlier that it was her lab and Jennifer West's lab that sort of developed the core IP. Uh, Nanospectra licensed that, and then we started to take it through clinical development. It is set up for localized prostate cancer and men with low to intermediate risk. So nothing higher than a Gleason 7. 6 and 7 sort of define low and intermediate risk. Um, beyond that, it needs to be, the, the tumor needs to be within the capsule and no more than two lesions. But beyond that, it's, you know, it's a wide kind of array of folks that are potentially eligible. These are gold nanoparticles. They reflect light in such a way that when they are in my body, they can go into the cancer, then a laser can go into where they are. Only the cancer will absorb them, not the healthy cells. The laser will then cause the gold nanoparticles to vibrate, which will increase their heat, and that heat is what will ablate the cancer. And I'll have about three quarters of a liter of these put in me. <laughs> It's been a trem tremendously exciting for us to start from really basic science, nanoparticles and light, and then to see how this could make such an important role in changing people's lives and in saving people's lives. And we're also looking at ways we have, we, our lab is very broad, we also look at ways that nanoparticles can impact energy, can be used to make clean water, can be used to run chemical reactions uh, at, at room temperature that would normally take place in a chemical plant, uh, lots of things that will impact the hydrogen economy, lots of things that are much broader, although this is big, this is you know sure. clearly big, it's, it's the universe for the patients themselves, and I uh, fully appreciate that since my dad was a, a prostate cancer survivor. It's, it's a wonderful thing to be able to uh, be working on, uh, on, this, on this topic and to be able to work with impact on real people's lives. 